So, Bungie just added a new chainsaw saw to the game and it feels kinda like Based on this motherfucker! Hi guys and welcome to Gaming Watcher, my name is Rolson and in this video I'll tell you how to get the new exotic sword, the Lament in Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Now this sword is pretty awesome, it's not Fallen Guillotine but it's actually pretty close. I think it's definitely one of the better exotics that have been released for Destiny even though I like a lot of the new exotics that they have released lately. The quest is also very fun and there is some interesting lore and revelations that you get through doing the quest. It's actually, it's not only an exotic weapon quest, it's also kind of a story quest that continues the story of Destiny 2 Beyond Light, which I really enjoyed. So the weapon is awesome, the quest is really fun, let's just get into it. So first of all, you get the very first quest step from Banshee 44 in the tower. This quest is actually about Banshee 44, he, he has had visions about this sword and he asks you to help him find it. And the whole story part that I was talking about just a minute ago is actually also about Banshee 44, so finally we're getting some backstory and some lore on Banshee 44, the gunsmith. Anyways guys, the first quest step is to find three dead exo bodies scattered all over Europa. Now, there are lots of exos scattered around and, and there are actually many different ones that you can find that can complete this quest step. Now, I'm only gonna go through the three that I found, but if you google where to find these dead exo bodies, you will find out that there is more than these three locations that you can find them in. So if any other locations are more easy for you, just Google it and go do the quest that way. So the first dead exo I found before I started recording this video actually, and it is located in the Eventide ruins. When you, you go to the place where there is a public event, usually the fallen public event with the servitor. I don't actually know if it can be any other public event in that exact spot. I've only tried the, the servitor once. So when you just come into that spot to your right there is a building that you can go into in this building there is a pillar and beside it there are three kind of they look like some sort of generators or something right between the generator on the left and the pillar there is an exo body now as i said i found it before i started recording this video so i don't actually have a recording of me finding it but it's right here i promise Okay, so the next place where we find an exo body is in the Well of Infinitude. Now this is all the way to the right of the map on Europa. You need to go in, in the same place where you enter the Glassway Strike. When you go in there, you just keep going right and you will get on a path that will lead you to this room right here. When you get into this room, you need to go across this pool of Vex milk here. And on the other side, there will be the next exo body. The last one I found in the Bray Exo Science Facility. So you can see this on the map. It's on the left side of the Europa map. And actually, if you just uh, put a waypoint on the exo challenge, you will kind of have uh, a waypoint there. So it's very easy to get there that way. So you just go there and go through the rooms. It's not that far in. When you go and in, get into this big room, you go to the right and take the door on the right. And then the exo body is in a corner, almost right inside of the door. So that's it. When you find the last one here, you've got all the three exo bodies and you can continue with the next quest step. So now you need to find the giant exo in creation. Now, if you have already done all of the Born from Darkness quest steps, you will already have been in this room and have talked to the giant exo and know exactly what it is. If not, then this is probably going to be pretty interesting for you. So you go in there and you find this giant exo head and you talk to it and it now gives you some kind of fetch questy quests 
that you need to do. As always, oh, it's okay. It's actually not that bad. It's very fast to do these and it's actually also kind of fun. So the next thing you need to do is you need to kill 100 Vex, including 20 Minotaurs, Hydras or Cyclopses. And you need to do this with a sword. So of course, you just equip your Fallen Guillotine, Guard Roll, as you of course have from the Season of Arrivals because they were insanely easy to get. And now you can do two things, in my opinion. I went back and forth between these two things and it worked fine. I did the Bunker 15 Lost Sector because it's full of Vex, but it's there's not that many Minotaurs or Cyclopses or Hydras for that matter. So it's more a question of getting the 100 Vex kills in here. And that's very fast in this Lost Sector. Now, the other thing that I did was go to... Asterian Abyss. And in Asterian Abyss, there is a Spire Integration public event that is also a Vex public event that is going on. And this event is filled with Minotaurs and also Hydras. In, in the beginning, it will mostly be the lower level Vex enemies, but when you get a little bit into the event, a lot of Minotaurs and Hydras will start spawning and you can just target those with the sword and you're gonna get this quest up in no time. So, so basically what I did was I ran the Lost Sector. When I got out, I just checked if the event was there and if it wasn't, I would just run the Lost Sector again and go back and check if the event was there. So I could kind of go back and forth between the event and the Lost Sector and it took me no time to get this quest step done. So this next quest step will only be there for you if you haven't already done it. You need to complete the Reclaiming Europa quest where you have to do Empire Hunts and some other quests. So if you haven't done that already, you'll need to do that. But if you have done that, this step will just be skipped which is was for me. So the next step is you need to complete an EXO challenge. This is also fairly easy if you're in a high enough power level. So just launch the EXO challenge from the map. It's the one on the left side by the Braytex EXO science facility and just go through that as fast as possible. Then the next quest step is defeating Vex with finishers. And for this, you can do uh, both the lost sector and the event that I spoke of before, but what I did was I, I just took the EXO challenge again and just killed basically all the enemies with finishers and that completed the quest step for me. So you can do it however you want. I thought it was nice to do the EXO challenge because you're alone in there. You basically are as well in Lost Sector except for those Braid Tech um, frames that are helping you. So I thought it best to do this completely alone because then I was sure of getting all of the finishers and no teammates or frames would like get the last shot on an enemy that I was just about to do a finisher move on. So this was why I chose to do the EXO challenge once again. Now you will get a kind of mysterious sounding quest step. It is not, it is not as difficult as it sounds when you get it. Uh, the quest step says that you need to find the blade pieces in the glassway strike. There's nothing really that you need to find. You just need to complete the glassway strike and you will just get the pieces at the end of the strike. So just go and complete the strike. Now you get another mysterious sounding quest step that is absolutely not. Uh, it says that you have to explore an abandoned bunker. And right when I got it, I actually thought, wow, they made a whole nother like, bunker that we can explore for this quest. But it's just the bunker of E15 lost sector in the Eventide ruins. So just go do that, clear out that lost sector. You get the quest step done when you open the chest at the end. So now is the last step where you have to rescue the giant exo head. It's been overrun by Vex uh, and it's calling you to come rescue it. Now, this mission was kind of fun because first of all, you get a tank and this tank doesn't shoot. You can only run over the enemies and to progress the quest, you have to do exactly that because you have to kill a certain amount of Vex. So you're getting overrun by Vex and you basically just have to plow through them with this tank that has no guns on it uh, until you fill up this uh, percentage in the right side of the screen. When you have done that, you can progress the quest and go to find the, the giant exo head. Once you get in there, you, you get the Lament Sword and now you need to defend it from the Vex 
uh, the giant exo head that is you need to defend that from the vex with the lament sword and there are these heavy ammo caches that open up around uh, the arena so you can kind of just go crazy with the sword and try it out and this is really nice actually i like how in every exotic mission so far and beyond light they have given you the opportunity to just go nuts with the weapon once you get it and you get it like inside you, you grab it inside the quest you don't just like get it into your inventory i think that is a really nice touch i actually think this exotic quest was really fun it was definitely more fun than some of the exotic quests that we saw last year so this is definitely an improvement and uh, the weapon is really awesome in itself now i'm also going to do a build video for how you actually do builds to do more damage with the lament sword and to charge its abilities faster and so on so stay tuned for that it's coming up soon and i'm probably also going to do a review once i get to use this weapon a little bit more so stay tuned for that as well now if you want to connect with me or other gaming watchers we have a discord and we're having a lot of fun in there doing raids and playing together we just talked about doing some gambit match together actually where we put up some teams and do a tournament that would be really fun so if you want to join in on all of that fun please join the discord there's a link in the description we also have a clan that you can join if you want to the link is also in the description and and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and if you don't want to miss out on the future content on this channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.